In the spring of 2019, Sterling Playmakers asked audiences to join us in Chincapin, Louisiana for Steel Magnolias, the beloved dramedy by Robert Harling. Join us for a reunion with our cast and crew and hear stories about the production for a behind the scenes look at community theater. I'm gonna start with our illustrious director. <laughs> Jimmy, that's you. <laughs> what is your favorite rehearsal memory? Oh gosh, there are way too many, way too many. But I think it was the first, so funny story is our Truvy for the first three weeks was not there because she was finishing up her other show. And, <laughs> but she, um, when she finally came back and it was the first rehearsal with all six of the girls, with the blocking and running through the blocking and then trying to navigate themselves. That was really fun to watch from a director's standpoint because the first time they were all sitting together was just the first read through and we had to be quick because we were only in the building for about a couple hours. And then <clears throat> the next time they would see each other, we would be in the school, it'd be great. And we were running, I think we were doing act two, scene one, which was like Shelby's haircut scene like we when we broke up the chunks of the blocking so um it was really cool just to see that and i think also just as you guys kept figuring out your characters and your body language and how your character would walk talk sleep all this other stuff and little by little coming up to me and asking questions i think that was my favorite part because we'd have like long lengthy discussions with everybody in the show i remember jordan kept texting me a couple times um there would be some days where like I felt so bad like one with Sarah like pushing her to her breaking point in act two scene two she's like oh you're asking a lot for me like yeah I mean if we could curse on stage I would ask you to curse but we don't it's on the script but it was just like those type of things so I think that was my favorite some of my favorite memories of rehearsal is just the camaraderie because it was just it was for the longest time it was me the six women and Helen, you know, <laughs> and sometimes Shannon would pop in and, Z and, Z and Zora. So it was just, it was just nice because it's nice when you have a small cast and it's so intimate. So more memories. Also, fun catchphrases like dirty. Dirty. <laughs> dirty. <laughs> You're welcome. God. There's so many. I just loved watching everybody create and get to opening night and when everything came together and having an audience to appreciate, it was fabulous. <laughs> I mean, I just love the process of a show coming together. So, I miss it. <laughs> yeah, Helen was my rock during the process. So sometimes I would turn to going, does it look good? <laughs> like, <laughs> yes, Jimmy, it's fine. <laughs> <laughs> so shy um hey i see you um i adore jimmy um ironically jimmy and i have never worked on a show together we met via kim fry at kim fry's annual party like we met like four years ago or something it's and we just every year at that party we chat we just like have this thing and then i may or may not see him uh, at, at a show that he's usually in and i'm visiting right and uh when he got the directorship and it was still magnolias and i f saw where i had the opportunity i could audition but i'd have to have i was putting a show up in arlington the little bit of cross you know that first couple weeks um I was anxious to want to be part of it and then to be able to be granted that wish with this lovely and it's the first and only time I've played uh, a part again in life um, which is also kind of cool I don't know that we all get to do that a lot get typecast a lot but not necessarily the same role so being able to work with Jimmy on his first directorship at Sterling is extremely meaningful to me truly and and I'll repeat again <laughs> Mm -hmm. To be on stage with Jordan is probably my favorite part. I'm not crying either. <laughs> I've known Jordan since she was a little girl, and I've worked with her before, but we've never been on stage together. And it was very uh, uh, 
coming of age kind of thing. And, you know, to go get a beer with her now, you know, and she's <laughs> newer when she was like 10, it's fine, it's fine. But it's just neat. And I've directed her before, but to be on stage together was extremely important and valuable. A memory I'll have forever. Sweat All right, favorite rehearsal, whatever. Um, <laughs> really, it really, for me, wasn't like one particular moment. It was, I've never bonded with a cast so much as I have with this one. And, you know, like I have friendships forever now from this cast that, that I think it, it just, we all clicked really well together as a cast, which was good because we need chemistry on stage, but we clicked really well together in person, in real life. And I, and I think that was, you know, going to rehearsal was never a horrible thing. It was, yay, I'm going to rehearsal. Yeah. You know, and and it was fun. Yeah, it was. You know? Every time. Every single every single night I got to go to rehearsal was just fun. And and you know, no matter how hard it got, you know, I couldn't remember my stupid lines sometimes. <laughs> you know. It 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 still I knew everybody had my back. So it's just a show I always wanted to be in. It really was. Yeah. Because of, of women, because it's one of very few shows I've ever seen, and I majored in theater, so I know um, that, uh, you know, uh, celebrated the bonds between women that you know, have held them together. And uh, that was, as soon as I saw that they were doing, Sterling Glenn Marikers was doing that show, I wanted to be part of it. Cause I'm getting old. What? <laughs> uh, <laughs> but I just so much wanted to do it. And I'm so glad I did. I really am so glad I did. And I loved you all. I love you all. I don't really have a, a specific uh, rehearsal moment that I remember, but uh, it's just the whole show. I just, I was sorry when it was over. <laughs> and uh, I would love to do it again. Just like the other ladies, I don't think that I can pinpoint one specific instance where everything was great because the entire process was just so amazing from meeting everybody at the audition to callbacks i felt so connected with all of the ladies to our first read through like there were there was just an instant connection between all of us on stage between all of us with the technical team the producing team with everybody who was involved with this show it was probably one of the most cohesive units I've been a part of and as the other ladies were saying it was a joy to come to rehearsal every time um, um <laughs> I loved um I think one of my favorite moments that I remember was when we and we did this several times while tech was building the set on stage and we were like all right we just got to do line throughs and like I distinctly remember us sitting in the back of the auditorium all just sitting together and like one person would have a script out and we're like all right we're gonna get this scene like we're gonna get it yeah and like several times we just laughed and we just kept <laughs> laughing and we wouldn't get through the scene for like 20 minutes because we were we, laughing i remember that like, we would try to get through the small chunk like the juice scene like we ran that juice scene i don't know how many <laughs> times to just try and be like on top of each other get the timing right so that by the time we were on stage we were like all right we know our rhythm, we know everything that we need, like everything can go smoothly. And so I love moments like that where like all of us were just like, all right, we're gonna power through this. We're gonna make it, we're gonna get there. And then the first time it, we definitely wouldn't make it there, but that was okay because we knew that and we were there and to like support each other and build each other up. And by, I think the support of everyone throughout the process was my favorite, getting to share the stage with Liz, of course, like after being under her direction when I was younger and like now getting to share the stage with her and go out for drinks afterwards and like just share 
something that she has put so much of her life into it, so much dedication. And you can see it as a director, but you see it even more when she's on stage, getting to be there for Emily's first like role that had like her second show ever. And like, Karen, was this your third show? Uh, fourth? It was my fourth show, but it was like my first show with a named character. Right. right. It was such a great mix that we all made each other better and we all figured out how we could like make this show the best that it could be. And I really think it was. That's a great testimony to Jimmy. It really is. He, he put, I cannot say enough great things about Jimmy and how he directed this show. Um, she hosted me at her house like two or three weekends in a row to just mentor me and take the time to help me run through my lines because my most memorable like rehearsal memory was not great it was a night where i just oh, i couldn't get it together um but the entire cast just supported the efforts that i was making um sarah texted me my mom um and just being really encouraging and um Janet just sat with me and we would go over line. She would just run them with me and it made such a difference. Um, it helped me, you know, of course, learn the lines, but also just the time that she took to spend with me was really special. Um, and I really appreciated that from her. Um, I don't think I would have been able to do it without this cast, like this specific group of people who is just so um, loving and fun and um, supportive at the same time lost you guys for a minute um you thought somebody slapped you and chased you i <laughs> <laughs> got slapped out of the zoom meeting hey i have a t-shirt i have a t-shirt because i slap laser boudreaux so we all do except karen we all do except karen. yes and that that's one of my that is like it's a little thing but it was really meaningful to me when uh shanna said, oh, well, we're going to have these shirts and say, I slapped Weezer Boudreaux. And I was really afraid to ask her this. At, but I was like, Shanna, could I just have my not say that? Could I just have Weezer Boudreaux on the back of my shirt? And she was like, sure, we can do that. And I was so touched because I was really afraid to ask to have like something different on my shirt. So that was, uh, that was really special to me that I got to do that. Um, I think my favorite memory um, was not at rehearsal, but there was this one time when we all went out to dinner at Burton's. I think it was before rehearsal, maybe. We were all at dinner and we were just, we were talking to each other, but we were consistently like just conversing using lines from the show. <laughs> they like kept coming up. And then the, um, the server, um, that there's this girl, she was serving us and we were talking to her about it. Oh, and we, was that the, when we had the girls night dinner? Yeah, yeah. And, and remember she, uh, she was telling us about this guy that she liked who worked, you know, he came in yeah, while her, she was working yeah, and we were yeah. like tell, giving her advice and everything. And she was like <laughs> we all excited and we were telling her about the show. And didn't, didn't she say like, she was like really young or something and she hadn't heard of the show or yeah, something yeah, we yeah. had to explain it to it her but we got her really excited about it we gave her a business card and everything but that was like that was a really that was a really bonding moment like we we had a lot of you know the rehearsal time was really good but that kind of stuff is what i remember best and then i got to do really really fun things that that i had i had so much fun like being Weeza, like and and i was really grateful to jimmy for letting me kind of run with it and do things that weren't technically in the stage directions like i don't think any of us was not really crying at the end we were all like really crying <laughs> in the last scene but you know yeah. yeah but that i mean but that's how powerful it is i mean we were supposed to be pretending to do it but we were all really moved you know i cried every, every time, time from the first read through when i showed up to rehearsal that first read through with my box of tissues <laughs> to the last time that i snuck into the back of the theater after i did producery things 
to watch that scene every time and <laughs> just ugly cry. Aubrey thinks she ugly cries and I don't know, I haven't seen it. <laughs> but I'm pretty sure I ugly cry. <laughs> <laughs> okay. um, every, every single time I was a wreck because it was just so good. Not really. Like, I think my favorite was, you know, after the gun, the gun scene where the they shoot the gun and then the, all the women run off the stage. Mm -hmm. We had to be in the wings because we then we were prepped. They we were going going to go in and like reset the the uh, the set and um, and so it would be fun because it was like we we'd see them coming. I'd be like, all right, they're coming, and then we just peel up. And, like get out of their way <laughs> and they'd run off and then we'd run on so but there was this one rehearsal where i came in with like my craft box of hot glue and yards and yards and yards of ribbon and it was one of the days you guys were sitting in the back of the theater doing the read through and you all kind of like took turns coming over and helping me with the gray awareness ribbon yeah yeah and you'd all kind of come back and tell me about your life, miss a line, Helen would yell at us, and then I'd have to be quiet, and we'd have to sit quietly back there. And then then whoever it was would then leave, and then someone else would come back, and then hot glue with me, we'd get chatty, Helen would be like, Judith, come on. <laughs> <laughs> and then after a while, I just sat there quietly by myself, looking on, going like, oh. Helen took all my friends away. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> There was a priority. No. <laughs> oh, it, there absolutely was, and I was being a distraction. Absolutely, <laughs> I know, but still. But um, funny enough, after that, like this was around the time of the government shutdown, and me and my husband were affected by that. Our primary source of income was completely cut off, and um, several of you had come up to me who knew about it and were like, "Hey." we're here if we need if you need anything you can always do that and so it was that same rehearsal where I was like oh Helen took all my friends away and then at the same time like as I'm leaving you all were checking up on me and asking how me and my husband were doing and then it was just one of those things that was just like I have friends <laughs> yes, like do. I knew I did I knew I did but it was just one of those things like I didn't go out seeking out anything but those who are aware of my my husband's job situation then came up to me and were like hey we know this is going on are you guys good and it was just one of those like really touching moments where i was just like okay and i'm not gonna lie i ugly cried the whole drive home and that was like an hour long drive so you guys you guys really put in the time there <laughs> i think any time that a rehearsal produced a rehearsal quote out of context <laughs> oh, yeah. Santa was great. That she were was some great good. for uh, publicizing but those. They're, they're good. I can't remember any of them right now because that was a long yeah. time ago. No, but they were, yeah, she would send them out as shout outs. They were yeah. good. They were very funny. What so, about you? So, um, my favorite was the rehearsal at the community center on Jimmy's birthday <laughs> when we all walked in individually or maybe in small groups. I know I walked in by myself with giant hair and bright eyeshadow. Yes! And <laughs> clothes that I could find. <laughs> but you know, like Jordan mentioned with the celebrating the birthdays, I just, that was so much fun to get to actually, you know, plan something for Jimmy. Um, as mentioned, I brought snacks because that's kind of my thing. Um, you know, I know that Jimmy likes lemon in particular, so I made him some lemon cupcakes. Those were awesome cupcakes. They were. They One of my favorites, and then, then I think some of the others were more Jimmy and I one-on-one -on -one moments of, um, you know, him telling me that we really needed to schedule a cue to cue, and I kept reminding him that we needed to schedule cue writing first. <laughs> Helpful, yeah. Oh, yeah. He even helps to have cues for a cue to cue. 